Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to compress a PS1 game to CHD format so that emulators can play better and you don't have a big, huge, massive multi-files that usually don't play correctly. So I recommend not only doing this for um, less mess, but to save space as well. Now to get started, go to this website in your browser. I know you can't see the link, but the link will be in the description. But go here. It'll be my MediaFire page. Go to Emulator Tools. Download this. Bottom one. Click Download. Alright. Now I'm going to click this, or you can go to File Explorer and find it. Um, I'm going to move this to a new folder so that you guys can see. Um, just what to do paste it in here or wherever just to make it make so make it so that you can um, get to it and not have a mess now right click this here then delete this all right now it should look like this inside of it all right now go back to the gear game I'm gonna press control a and then control X that's a uh, highlight all and then cut or you know you could just right click and go to cut but or highlight like that but anyways I digress bring this into this folder and paste it with control V or right click and go to paste now all of this is in here and it's a mess so click this double click alright now it asks you where you want it to go I'm gonna put three but you can do one or wherever one is in this main directory here or three is to make a folder that just is CHD. I'm going to do a folder because it's uh, it's easier to find. So you enter three. All right. Now at this point, you just hit enter, and we wait for it to compress all of these bin files into one single file. And then after it's done, you take the CHD, put it on your USB, or you transfer it through FTP or whatever. Um, I'll show you what it's like after it's done. Alright, after it's done, just hit enter. Now I'll go up to the CHD folder, double click, and there it is. 343, that's all you need. Uh, it already knows uh, all the files since there is a Q file right there. It takes all this information and puts it together. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do this to multi-disc games as well. Not a hundred percent, but I'm. It sounds sounds about right. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you, and uh, remember to comment below, thumbs up the video, and subscribe, <laughs> and all that, because it helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.